Even though it was obvious that prison would be very different from the lavish lifestyles that former Chris Lee knows best stars Todd and Julie Chrisley had grown accustomed to, their children claim that their new quarters may not even meet health code. According to Chase and Savannah, their parents' housing in prison is a nightmare environment filled with mildew, asbestos, and even snakes. Recently, Chase was able to go see their dad, who is currently in jail. And Savannah claimed last week on her podcast, Unlocked with Savannah Chrysley, that he was unimpressed with what he discovered there. They called their parents' living arrangement a nightmare, and when Chase came to visit, Todd told him about the cluster of everything going on at his facility. According to reports, neither of them has air conditioning. Chase stated on the podcast that neither of his parents' facilities, Todd's being the federal prison camp in Pensacola, Florida, and Julie's being the federal medical center in Lexington, Kentucky, have air conditioning. They both live in states where the temperature can reach or exceed 100 degrees and there is no air conditioning, according to Chase. But Savannah claimed that their parents' issues are much more serious than the absence of air conditioning. She added that these prisons are also home to snakes, asbestos, lead-based paint, and black mold, and that her mother has even witnessed snakes just casually slithering on the floor in front of her in her cell. Savannah and Chase are finding it extremely difficult to see their parents living in one of these places. In the end, it comes down to my parents. I mean, I don't anticipate sympathy from others for them. People don't show pity unless they are directly affected, and it is a loved one, according to Chase. There is still a ways to go for Todd and Julie. Todd is currently serving a 12-year sentence for his tax offenses, while Julie is serving a 7-year term. Both of them will then be placed on supervised release for a further three years. The Federal Bureau of Prisons has not officially responded to these allegations as of yet. Insider alleges that a request for comment on Savannah and Chase's allegations went unanswered. However, it appears that Savannah thinks that when the truth is out, justice will finally be done. On the podcast, she warned, there are going to be some disgusting things that come to light. The things that happen in the facilities will leave people stunned. I'm prepared for that moment to arrive. Watching mom and dad suffer through that is insane but fortunately they still have it in them to fight.